Today, we are gonna talk about alopecia areata. Alopecia areata is a very, very, very common form of alopecia where, where your body is literally attacking itself. Some things that you could be doing and things that you can prevent. This is a form of alopecia that is not permanent and can be reversed with just a few changes. Not a few, kinda a lot depending on what you're doing, but let's break it down. <laughs> Welcome back girl if you are OG to my channel and hello my name is Sendal. I am a herbalist, cosmetologist, trichologist, scientist and a couple of other things and on this channel we talk about the wonders of nature and their benefits for healthy hair, skin, nails, gut health and so many other things. Now on today's video we are going to be talking about alopecia areata and this form of alopecia is super scary because it is something that kind of pops up for some people out of nowhere is the autoimmune disorder where the um, where the body's immune system literally attacks the hair follicle this can cause the hair to fall out and leave a minor to really really large circular patches across the human scalp and other places on the human body this again is due to attack on the hair follicle by your body's immune system so this is an autoimmune disorder something somewhere is triggering your immune system to attack your hair follicle. The amount of hair loss is going to vary person to person depending on the severity of your form of alopecia. Extreme cases lead to hair loss all over the body and that is a different form of alopecia, this one here. We talk about the different phases of the hair growth cycle all the time, they are listed here. And when you have this form of alopecia, what it does, it attacks the hair growth cycle. And instead of your hair growth cycle going through all of these phases, the telogen phase is the resting phase, whereas this phase, the canogen phase, is the phase where the hair shaft detaches itself completely from the hair's follicle, from the body's blood supply. Even though there are a whole lot of theories around, scientists have not been able to trigger the exact cause of this autoimmune disorder. Now, there is something within certain patterns that trigger this disorder, but again, scientists do not know what it is. Now, there are some common causes. One of the main common causes, of course, is um, genetics. Now, whenever something says, I say this all the time, whenever a disease or a disorder says it's genetic, that doesn't mean that, oh, because you come from this bloodline, you're automatically, you will automatically have this disease and there's nothing you can do. No, most of the time in certain bloodlines, everybody eats the same, they pass on the same recipes, pretty much dress the same, like, and for that reason, you'll have have the same diseases if these diseases are linked to the things that you eat linked to the linked to the things you put on your body and things of that nature so when you're talking about genetics please remember that genetics does not mean that you're automatically locked into a certain disorder there can be things that you can do to change things so let's get into some symptoms. You may notice that in certain areas, your hair may start burning intensively or really, really itching that eventually leads to burning in a, in a specific area. And then you'll notice that that area then begins to thin or begins to fall out. This is a really, really clear sign of the beginning stages. So notice thinning in specific areas that look a little bit like this on the screen. Next up, this is not just singularly to this doesn't just go to the hair this can affect a lot of different places on your body so pay attention if you're notice a change if you're also noticing a change in your hair and your nails at the same time this may be a really really clear sign of this disorder if you see any rough like white lines or any white or rigid lines within your nail beds then this can be a really really clear sign of your immune system attacking your body remember your your hair is made within your gut out of biotin and biotin is produced in the gut and your hair skin and nails is made of the same thing so if your scalp is being infected by something most likely your nails will follow suit and be affected by it as well so pay attention to your hair and nails at the same time most likely your something's going on at this time doctors do not have an exact 
cure for this disorder but with a change in your lifestyle habits and with a change in certain patterns you can reset the hair growth cycle reducing the amount of inflammation within the body can cause you to reverse the effects that this autoimmune response in your body is causing so by you slow by you lowering the causes because remember doctors don't know the exact thing that is triggering this auto this autoimmune disorder so by the end of this video we're gonna go over a couple of different things that you can do to keep your body from having that autoimmune response there as the things that you are putting in your body and on your body as they go into as they're absorbed into the skin and as the as your body as your body breaks down different things and pushes them out what ends up happening is your body gets really confused if you have a whole about a whole bunch of foreign things whether it's hair products or whether it's certain foods that you're eating when your body goes to process them if it's too much if it's too many things that are foreign to the human body like i said whether it's from the outside or the inside of the human body what ends up happening is your body's confused your body doesn't know what's happening so your body just starts like going off like just setting off all types of triggers and your body gets confused there's confusion within your body where your body doesn't know your body thinks that the follicle is a foreign invader so your body is a city that works for you and when you have this form of alopecia something and some habit that you have is forcing your body to think that your follicle is a foreign invader and it's attacking it so now we have to lower that we have to lower the threat your environmental factors could have a lot to do with it if you live for example if you live in las vegas nevada and you're always outside and your follicle has really 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 heavy sun exposure let's say you work in construction and you wear a hard hat but maybe you don't sometimes that type of sun exposure can really really wreak havoc on your body's immune system especially if the sun is shining directly on the scalp it can make your body think there, there's a some type of foreign invader within the follicle and it'll it will attack again this form of alopecia again is an autoimmune response right so if you are packing the hair full of butters and full of oils if you're trying a whole bunch of homemade products on the hair like for example rice water rice water is a is a protein treatment but it's a live active protein treatment so if you've been putting that on the hair for long periods of time and that live active bacteria is going into the hair's follicle there is a live bacteria into the scalp if you have been using homemade hair products making them yourself or buying or, or buying products from some one of your favorite people on social media that make homemade hair products then this is a way that you can introduce bacteria into the scalp and if bacteria is introduced into the scalp it release it causes an autoimmune response where your body will start to kill off whatever is in the follicle including the actual hair follicle it is actually it will actually release so much acid and so many different things within the hair's follicle to kill that bacteria that it will also cut off the blood supply because the body's job is to kill the invader it is to uh, extinguish life in all ways shapes or form in any way shape or form including the hair follicle so that is one really really big onset and offset of this form of alopecia packing the scalp full of products that's why i'm so against putting oils and butters directly on the scalp oils and butters and hair products are for the hair shaft not the scalp because when you plug them on the scalp what you do you create an unhealthy environment for the follicle there is supposed to be no foreign body from the outside world inside of the follicle your only job on the scalp is to remove bacteria and dirt when you add extra product what you do you create inflammation and it is a fact right the there is a natural yeast that lives on the human scalp right and this yeast the name of it is here and this yeast 
favorite food is oil. It loves oil. This yeast loves oil. And that's the natural oil from your scalp. And it is also any additional oil that you add. So if you are a person who thinks that after a week of that hair being washed, after two weeks, you're going to refresh it by using oil. You know who you refresh it? The bacteria. Everybody has a natural bacteria on their scalp. The name of it is here. Watch this video to learn more about it. But everybody has a natural bacteria on their scalp. And every day, this bacteria grows because it is a colonizing bacteria so if you this colonizing bacteria is also combined with this bacteria this yeast so you have this colonizing bacteria that lives on the scalp plus this yeast that lives on the scalp and both of their favorite foods are oil so you have the natural sebum that's coming out of your scalp and then you're adding a bunch of oils because for whatever reason because youtubers told you to that is this that is both of those bacteria's favorite foods right so you are supercharging the bacteria one of the bacteria is a colonizing bacteria that can grow right and grow and expand so you're feeding that bacteria so as this bacteria is growing its favorite place to be is inside of the hair follicle why because the hair follicle has a sebaceous gland that produces its favorite food which is sebum aka your natural oil so all of the bacteria lives within the hair's follicle and the more bacteria that's in the follicle the body sees that as a threat so the body begins to attack the hair follicle and to kill everything that lives within the hair follicle including your blood supply including your actual hair shaft because your your follicle doesn't know what's going on anytime you grease the scalp you're adding a foreign body i don't care what type of oil it is i don't care if it's a zero on the commonogenic scale anything you put on the scalp is a foreign body is something that's not supposed to be there and your body is going to take that as a threat so when it comes to this form of alopecia when you are putting if you have product buildup it is one of the main leading causes for this autoimmune response that your body is letting off or auto inflammatory anytime something like that is happening what's happening is your body is responding to something that you're doing the body is responding to either stress your environment or things that you are putting on your hair or things that you are putting inside of the body but at the end of the day all of these things can be fixed by you making subtle changes so let's get into some of those let's get into this new blend and oh my god, I'm so freaking in love with it. Just look at it. Just look, 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 look. Yes, look at it. Yes. Now, this herbal blend with this simple apothecary is one that I am so proud of because not only is it something that can help you with the symptoms and the causes of the different autoimmune disorders, there are also a lot of immunological factors and that just means different things. There are, there are certain proteins within the body that have a lot to do with the cell signaling. That just literally means sending signals from different parts of the body and different and things like that the way that the nerves and things in your body are reacting to each other and communicating so when certain cells aren't being able to be produced and when certain things within the body are thrown off balance the body gets really confused and it starts looking for threats and anything that is a foreign body or anything that has any foreign bodies in it is threat number one and will be eliminated and that is what is going on with this form of alopecia but the first one rooibos rooibos Roybo Roy 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 Roybos. Why can't I say that? Roybos is an amazing herb. Oh my God. I'm so excited that I was able to get this herbal blend all together for you because, oh, listen, this is a South African herb that is so rich in antioxidants, particularly flavonoids. Make sure you check the link in the description box below so you can see the full, long, nerdy, detail breakdown, but I'm just giving you the short version. Antioxidants and the antioxidants found in this herb can widely reduce the amount of oxidative stress within the body and inflammation and with ox with massive oxidative stress 
with massive oxidative stress and inflammation within the body that can definitely trigger your immune system to think that there's something wrong and attack the follicle so by you lowering the amount of oxidative stress and and inflammation within the body you will lower the body's immune response to this disorder cinnamon is another one that is known for its amazing anti-inflammatory properties it also has apple slices in it and apples are another thing that is freaking amazing i know y'all like apple cider vinegar but we're not doing apple cider vinegar this is a different type of apple apples are gr a great source of vitamin c and fiber and fiber and vitamin c are something that is amazing for you if you are a person who is dealing with anything as it pertains to your digestive tract because by you having a, a diet that is healthy or balanced or rich within fiber or you having a drink in the morning or every night that is rich in this type of fiber it makes it so you are able to pass your little stuff the way you need to not to mention vitamin c which this blend is so rich in plays a major role in the production of collagen within the body and collagen is so important when it comes to healthy hair remember most people use derma rollers for hair growth but the reason that a derma roller works is because it makes microscopic holes within the hair's follicle and as those holes begin to heal up it produces collagen right so just imagine if you have the type of diet that just imagine you have this little herbal tea in your mix always and you could put it on like repetitive mode where you order it every month or every two weeks or however often you want to order it you know now canadula aka canadula aka marigold petals oh my god this is like one of my favorite parts of this herbal blend especially as it pertains to what we're talking about today with this form of alopecia this is a powerhouse now it's most commonly associated with like skincare because it has really really good anti-inflammatory properties for the skin so it will really really knock out redness and things of that nature but girl just wait or boy just wait till you hear what they do with it the herbs on their own are great but when you put when you blend herbs together when you blend herbs together all of their properties like mash together and create like this amazing little symphony of, of stuff so let's talk about the symphony of stuff the flavonoids they are the flavonoids that are present in cinnamon and ro and roboids actually make it an amazingly effective treatment for oxidative stress we talk about that all the time but if you are a person who has your immune system attacking itself it is so so vitally important that you reduce the amount of your body's oxidative stress and cinnamon and rooibos together are freaking amazing at reducing it is something that you'll almost notice instantly like the first day of you drinking this blend remember the cinnamon is really really gonna work hard at reducing the inflammation within your body on the internal level next up the apples Oxidative stress has a direct link to autoimmune disorders. By you having oxidative stress within the body, it triggers so many other things to go on. And then the ending cause or the ending effect of it is the balding from the autoimmune disease. Because by the time, by the time your immune system responds, that's it. You going bald, girl. Your immune system, that's the big gun. Once the immune system comes through and start killing people, that's it. Everybody gone number two is going to be immune system modulation now the reason that immune system modulation is so freaking important is because when your immune system is going haywire or when there are different things going on in your body that you're trying to heal your body from or even if you are dieting and you're you're losing massive amounts of weight and your body is going through any type of drastic rapid changes sometimes your body is going to think that it's something wrong and sometimes you do have autoimmune responses but by you ingesting this tea mainly because of the marigold petals that are present marigold petals help the body to regulate its autoimmune responses so basically by ingesting this tea on a regular basis if you are going to have an autoimmune response that's kind of for no reason your body is kind of not so stressed out it uh, has a really really common effect that basically has your immune system think about what it's gonna do before 
before we do it. A little bit like, chill, girl. Stop acting like that. It ain't even nothing wrong. Relax. That's what the mirror goes to, to the hair follicle. Stress reduction, oh my goodness. You have an autoimmune disorder, the one thing that's going to trigger it is stress. Stress is the leading cause for so many diseases, so many disorders, and especially so many different cases of balding. When you stressing out, one of the first things that's gonna pop up is a bump and a bald spot. Rooibos is known for its calming effect for the body and from it having this amazing common effect on the body it directly affects the way that your body is responding whenever you are having anything that can result in an autoimmune response digestive support cinnamon has been found and known to support the body in digestive health so if you're having a problem going to the bathroom and stuff like that then what you want to do is go ahead and invest in this tea because what it will do this combination of tea and all you need is a little itty bitty bit and a little bit goes a very long way and once you use this blend you will notice that your stress levels are going to be decreased and you will also notice decrease in the amount of autoimmune responses that your body is having and that will directly affect the way that your hair skin and nails are going if you want to learn more about autoimmune and auto inflammatory disorders then make sure you check the video link make sure you check the videos linked in the description box below along with the blog post attached to this because there is way more information there I could only give you surface level information on this video but if you need more or you have more questions or you want to get your hands on this blend click the links below I love you guys so much thank you for watching this video bye